Hi, I am Shubhajit Bhuiya. Today's topic is Test Artifact Dashboard Project. This is disclaimer from IBM Corporation. Please have a look into it. This is the dashboard of Rational Quality Manager. I will add the new widget over here. New widget name is Test Artifact. Click on Add Widget you can see a new widget called test artifact has been added so I have to select the artifact query you can select whatever project you want to choose from the project you can click select and choose your project under artifact type you have to select one of the supported artifact supported artifact are test plan test case test script test suit test case execution record, test suit execution record, test case result and test suit results. I am choosing test case over here and after that you have to select a saved query for test case. I click select over here. You can select saved queries under my queries as well as shared queries. So I am selecting over here draft test case query here under display settings we can choose the columns we want to see by default now it is showing id and name and state say i can i can see priority as another column and by default 10 items will be shown per page other supported numbers at 25 50 75 and 100 I click OK over here, I will be able to see the result of the saved query in a tabular format. You can see the name of the widget becomes the artifact type and the name of the query in the bracket. You can see how many items has been returned by this query. We can do shorting on the column as well as we can do column resizing if we click on the header it will take me to the browse page of the test artifact and it will open it filtered by the saved query for which the widget was created let's go back to the dashboard again this widget is available from rqm 5.0.1 so you can have a single widget which support all the eight major test artifact and using the saved query you can see the result in a single widget if you are using lifecycle management you can use this widget in requirement management as well as defect management thank you for watching this please visit jad.net and provide your valuable feedback